Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. We're back in American Truck Simulator using this beautiful International Pro Star which kind of resembles the International LT just a little bit. I wonder if this was like the previous version or like the previous model and then it got t turned into the LT. They do look very very similar and I have seen these out on the road before as well as the uh, HT international whatever the truck i just said i, I think it's ht but uh yeah so this was uh on the various ats mod sites and uh let's go ahead and start up the bad boy So here we are in the interior, basically the same interior as the LT uh, on the Pro Star. I'm not sure if that's how it is in real life, but I think they just kind of copied the interior. Now as you guys can see, the sun is going down, nice little sunset here. Uh, we don't currently have our trailer, I think we're like 40 miles away from our trailer. So we are going to head over there. This is going to be a short run, we're picking up a frack tank and heading to Omaha. And we are currently in Lincoln, Nebraska. So it's like 140 something miles. So I figured make this episode a little bit longer. We go ahead, head on out there, and then get the load. And then obviously, you know, take it to Omaha. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on the open road here. Alrighty. Go ahead and turn on the lights here. I think they're already on. Possibly. Okay, yeah, they were on already. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today so far. We got a Kenworth the truck dealer discovered and about to get a recruitment agency discovered. If we can get some more drivers for our uh, trucks here, because I got two trucks that are unmanned right now that I need drivers for, but uh, I don't like hiring drivers that are in the red driver score. For what looks like a fleet truck, this truck actually sounds pretty freaking good. Love that Jake brake right there. That is a very nice sounding Jake brake. You hear this coming down the road, you would not expect a international pro star truck. But you get an International Pro Star truck, that nice little red candy apple paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, pick up our load, and then I'm hoping that they allow us to take our 10-hour break there so that we can hop on out in the morning instead of late at night. But we shall see, unless there's like a truck stop near there, we'll just head to the truck stop. Oh, well, we got a helicopter. Okay, that's on the other side. Perfect. Like I saw that helicopter hovering, that usually means there's a wreck or a pursuit. And that's on the other side, so nothing for us to worry about. Keep right and then turn right. We'll do just that. Thank you very much, Miss GPS Lady. On Hickory Road. And I think that's where we're picking up at. You guys saw that BP sign is uh, BP. I think that's where we're picking up at. Fog area, 30 miles an hour. I've never seen that before. Alright, so we got a yield sign on the tracks here, which means we probably should yield. And then with us having a frack tank, we'll have to do the same exact thing at all railroad crossings, but it looks like we are good. Oh, we were so close. We were so close right there, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, that was bad. Yep, like I knew, we were picking up a BP. Right here. Oh. Not here. Yeah, 
Okay, I did not realize there was another spot. Okay, I guess we'll just follow that car. Pavement ends. Okay. Turn left. So it's still BP, it looks like. Turn just a different facility? Turn right. Okay, so it's still BP. Rail loading and truck loading. Okay, so that might have been for the, like, employee entrance. So that might have been the employee entrance, and this is the uh, truck and rail entrance, I guess. Truck entrance, because railroad would just enter through the tracks. Oh, we got two frack tanks here. Roll down the window. Hook onto our uh, trusty, dusty trailer here. Alright. We got our frack tank. And they are allowing us to do our 10 hour reset here is what I've been told. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Shut our truck off and I'll see you guys in the morning. Look at that. Weird trailer, definitely a weird trailer. Not gonna lie. Alrighty, so 9 a.m. game time. About nine, we took a little bit more than 10 hours, but we're running this local, so I'm not too worried about it. Looks like all of our lights are working. Tires look fine. Let's go ahead and roll up the window. We had that kind of cracked all night. It's a nice day, so we didn't really need the AC. Let's go ahead and hop on out of here. Now, I, I know it's coming from a refinery like this. But it, I don't see any placards on it, so does that mean that I'm good to not have to stop at railroad crossings? Since there's no, like, hazmat or hazardous placards on it. I'm probably still going to stop just to be on the safe side. But, yeah, there's no placards or anything on it. All it says, it's a frack tank. Turn right. Definitely confused getting into here, so probably... Hopefully be easier coming out of here. Hopefully. Get ready to turn right once again. Alright, turn right. There's that fog area sign again. I think our frack tank is following us nicely. Oh, look at that. There is a train. Oh, that's a short one. Okay, we're good then. That's a, that, that is a teeny tiny, uh, looks like a grain train. But we're still gonna approach with caution. That one just left, so we are good. So the reason why I chose to go from here to Omaha once again, a little bit of a short, uh, run but it is because it's taking a route that we have not explored yet and it kind of keeps us in the state of Nebraska where we want to be. Granted, next up, we'll probably do some other stuff. I've got some various uh, car bus mods to look at as well. Oh, Burger King needs a semi-truck. Never seen those before. Yeah, we Gucci, all right. Almost took out that sign, but I think we're good. That car's on the right over there. Perfect. And we can't get over. I think once this Tesla clears us, I think we'll be good. Yep, looks like it. But unless we pick up more speed than him. Yeah, we are technically good to go 70. They're still doing the investigation over there. Big, massive lag. 
Oh, did we cut that dude off? I don't, I don't think we did. I think we're good. I thought we cut him off. But Rockstar CEO recently had a, like, a conference or something. And he basically announced that GTA 7 is in the plans before GTA 6 even release, releases. Man, we are having trouble keeping it within the lines. So, 80 East to Omaha. But yes, GTA 6, which is slated to release to consoles, not PC, just consoles, uh, next fall, which I'm going to have to end up purchasing myself a PS5 probably. I, I'm kind of debating between the 5 and the newer Xbox. But I can get all the Xbox exclusive games on PC. So I feel like to get the PlayStation exclusive games to get a uh, PS5. But the only downfall with that is my password for PSN. I can't reset because it is through Yahoo. And supposedly if you don't use your Yahoo email or don't log into it or something after a certain amount of days, basically you lose access to the account so you can still log into it and everything, but that user name, email, uh, anybody can take after that. So technically I still get emails there, but supposedly a lot of people are saying that if you end up, that ends up happening, any like password recovery emails or anything like that do not go through as a security precaution. And supposedly once it gets to that stage, there is no way to get it back. A lot of lag today. Which in my opinion is very stupid. So going back and forth between PlayStation and Yahoo, customer service, and basically I'm getting nowhere. So everything that I had on PSN, unless I can figure out what password I used, is just gone. And I'm going to have to go through a list of all the passwords I've pretty much used in the past and ones that I am pretty sh think that I may have changed it to. And uh, basically, I'm going to have to figure it out. It said right lane must exit, and we're not exiting at Waverly. No, we are not. So that's kind of a bummer. But, I mean, still crazy, though, that we are basically still waiting for GTA 6 to come out. So like I was saying, it's coming out on consoles first. PC release is to be determined because it could come out with the actual release of the game or like Rockstar likes to do is release it after. And yes, so we'll have GTA 6 for console. I'll definitely be making some content on that once it does release, which is supposed to be slated fall of 2025. But obviously that doesn't mean anything as it could be delayed. Look at the Platte River. It looks empty. Looks like more sand than water. That's not good. That is not good. It looks like the water's just like becoming a drought. But since we're on the topic, I mean, GTA 5 released in 2013. GTA 6 is releasing in 2025. So if they're going to go with the same pattern, GTA 7 will more than likely be 2037. If they're going to go with the same time frame that they have been sticking with. So, 80 East downtown. I don't think that's where we're going. But it would be nice, though, if they would uh, come out with a Red Dead Redemption 3. I know when RDR2 came out, we kind of streamed it for a little bit and then just kind of stopped. And I know that's, that's on me. Oh, we are exiting. We already here? Dang, that was quick. I'm gonna say that was pretty fast, man. But yeah, it would be cool. Uh, I am really hoping I'm back into streaming by then. I mean, right now it's just time management. I'm trying to figure out my time management to be able to juggle everything, which is my big issue right now but I'm really hoping that by the time GTA by the end of this year hopefully because I have all this this like fiber optic internet and it's just basically going to waste by not 
streaming and a lot of stuttering. I'm not, not, no. I'm, before I even get into another ATS, I have to figure something out with this. And cars in that lane? We Gucci. Go ahead and get up to speed here. I, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure we still have a little bit ways to go before we get to our destination. If we don't, then I would be very surprised that that was like 140 miles. Oh, so we're exiting at L Street. Okay, so never mind. I wonder if that guy's trying to exit. Nope. It look, I thought it looked like he had his blinker on, but I could have just been seeing things. You could have very easily... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, you could have went, took a right on red, but I did not notice there was a car in front of him. We got a lot of people. Ooh, we almost... We hit the guardrail, but we almost hit that truck. We almost hit that truck. Go straight on. I do apologize for all of the stuttering. I really, really do. I don't know what's going on with it, but I do apologize for it. Look at that Domino's box truck. All right, turn right. A lot of turns in this one. Lot of turns. Are we in Omaha? No outlet, so this has to be where we're going. I mean, it kind of looks like where we would drop a frack tank off. Turn left. Okay, so we're going to the Union Pacific, which I'm kind of shocked that, uh,. Uh, Union Pacific has a lot of non-Union Pacific engines. I might have to swap out that mod. All right, we got a stop signal. No trains are coming, even though we kind of stopped on the tracks. We got to go this way. I don't think it matters what lane we go in. Look at that, AMLS. I like how they have the UP flag on them though. I don't think that's supposed to be a part of it. But look at those, so there's no actual number, it just says AMLS, interesting. There's a lot of stopping going on at this facility. Yes, there is. We got some well cars, but they're not crossing our path. I think we're good. 15 MPH slow. So this is a interesting facility. So this is the Omaha Intermodal Facility. Here we are, safe and sound, okay. Where do you guys want this at? Uh, of course, there's a trailer right in front of it. I was gonna say, I could very easily just pull that in, but nope, they got a trailer right in front of it. A lot of trailers here. So we got Swift, some Intermodal, I guess an Exxon about to get piggybacked. Walmart, ADM has a lot of containers, it looks like. Carrier, rail export, NAMIC, which I think these are just ATS companies. I think Carrier is too, it might be, I'm not sure. Ocean Echo, Ocean Echo. That is definitely an ATS one. <laughs> that is definitely an ATS one. I think Carrier's though is not. I think that's an actual real life company. Sounds familiar, at least. I already know this ain't going on any train, so... 
I'd be very shocked if it did. There's a Burger King trailer here for some reason. That doesn't make any sense. Very confused by the Burger King trailer. Go ahead and park it up, see what we got. You have to do a little more to you have to pull up and do it a little bit more to the right. Go ahead and straighten out that trailer. Doesn't look like we're going to hit that one. There we go. They like it there. So do we. All right, let's take a look. But yeah, International Pro Star available on the ATS mod site, so I won't have it linked in the description. But yeah, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Take care, everyone.